Hi everyone, I'm Lucas M, a technology engineer here at IBM Client Engineering Team. Today I'm going to show you the IBM Watson X Orchestrate platform, which is a platform which delivers conversation AI and automation capabilities to transform how work gets done while increasing productivity, lowering costs, and improving agility. So we're now at IBM Watson X Orchestrate platform, the homepage. Today I'm going to build a very simple software license request skill using the platform. So basically um, you will um, create a skill which um, requests for a license of software and the uh, request will be sent to your manager and your manager will approve or reject your request. Uh, it's quite simple here. Now let's get started. So first of all, let's go into the Skill Studio. We're going to create skills which involve uh, a workflow and also um, the uh, form for the input. So let's create a new automation. So let's click here. Let's call it a uh, license uh, request. As you can see, like there are multiple components that you can create um, here. First of all, the session and then the workflow that we're going to do in a minute and the generative AI um, capability as well. So for the session and generative AI, we're going to um, include them in the future video. Um, for today's video, we're going to focus on workflow. So let's go into it. Let's create a uh, license request uh, workflow. So basically when you submit your software license request, um, the request will be sent to your manager and they will receive a task uh, here on What's the Next Orchestrate and um, they'll basically see everything that you submitted and they can decide whether they want to approve the request or reject the request. All right, so first of all, we'll need to create some um, variables and you know, basically complete our uh, data structure. Uh, so if we go to data here and uh, click the blue plus button, uh, we need to create two choice lists. So first of all, the choice list for the software so let's call it software. And here you can put the values here. Um, I'm going to make it like, you know, as simple as possible. So for all the um, data, for all the choice lists, like we'll basically just high code all the choices here and um, yeah, make it, you know, as easy as possible. All right, so let's say we want to do IBM DB2. And we also want to have a video editing too. All right. And the second choice list would be something called uh, approval. So basically when your manager um, receives the task, they can um, either reject or approve your request. So let's do it. So that's basically the two choice list that um, you know we, we need for, for our license request application. All right, let's go back to build. And um, variable here. So let's create the same variable, but for data type, like uh, we'll be able to select our custom types software here. That would be input and also output. And the next one would be uh, approval. Again, like the custom approval type. Um, well, for approval, like uh, that would be only an output. Uh, we'll need one more variable here. That would be um, comment. So when your manager like uh, approval reject your, your your request, they might want to add some comment as well. Um, so that would be also output. Um, um, we probably need one more like uh, variable. Let's say requester. 
sometimes you, you may not like request for yourself. So for now, like with your string, uh, we just want to keep it as simple as possible. Um, but for like actual like um, application, you may want to do like maybe like user or something that would connect to your AD. Um, that would be probably a bit more easier. But for now, like, as as I said before, like you know, to, to keep it as simple as possible, let's keep it as like a basic input string, All right? So let's go back to diagram. So by default, um, the uh, automation, like the, the process, I like, create a user task for you. Um, let's go into it. So if we click on the uh, activity user task, um, first of all, like we can change the name to like approval. Uh, as you can see like here, you get the user assignment as well. Uh, if we click onto it, like basically um, you can assign the user task to like different like person for example like all users like you know on the platform uh, the initiator of the workflow uh, you can also uh, specify which user uh, can claim the task or from a variable as well um, so technically like you know on, on, on the actual like application like you bit you you would want to assign the task to your manager but again like for, for demo purpose, like we'll just keep it as workflow initiator so that when we demo, when we try the skill later on, like the uh, approval task will be assigned to, to ourselves so that I can, I can show you like how it looks and stuff like that, right? And you can select like priority and stuff like that as well. And let's add the user interface. So here is what you will see like on the, um, on the approval like task. So let's do like software and then request approval and comment. Um, for software, we might want to um, just make it read only as the manager, like, you know, shouldn't need to change anything and stuff. All right, and we'll keep approval and comment, um, you know, to unchange. Um, as you can see here, you can also change, like you know, the size of the input field. You can also uh, change this page name and stuff like that if you need to. But for now, we just keep it, like you know, as it is. And let's go back. All right. So basically, um, we will only add, you know, this user task here. Um, but as I briefly mentioned before like you know in a future video like we can also add like decision and stuff like that to make it you know kind of more logical uh, but we'll keep that you know for, for the future video for now all right so if we click on the uh, blue play button like on the uh, top right here and select new instance and that will um, allow us to test out like you know the, the process so for example, like software, uh, let's do um, db2. And this is a good thing because it's already kind of uh, remind me that I did something wrong. So if we go to the variables and requester, we want to keep it like input and output as well, right? Sorry about that. And here, let's do run. So that would um, show a task. And if we click on here, and this will be the task that your, your manager like will see um, when they receive the actual like proof of task. I can see that, okay, DB2, because um, say, okay, um, be like we'll approve it and say okay looks good and submit right so basically the task is now completed all right okay so now like um we're happy with the ui we're happy with the process we're happy with the user task and all the variables and data and um, now we would like to actually like deploy our skills and publish our skills so that we can use it on the uh, chat um, interface, like, you know, of what's the next orchestrate. 
the first thing like we would need to do would be create operations like for the um, automation skills. So let's do create operation and let's call it uh, license request ops. And here for component, we select the workflow that we just created and save. Awesome, and now we can share all the changes that we did. Uh, we created this model. We also made changes on the workflow as well. Do share. Cool, once it's done, let's go back to the previous page and go to history. Uh, you'll be able to see like all the history here. Let's create a version, call it 1.0.0, create, and switch to publish, expand it, and we'll have the option to publish the skill. Let's give it a minute or two. Once the skill is published, then we'll be able to use the skills on the checked interface. All right, so we can see that the uh, skills is now published. Uh, that took us 12 seconds. Um, we're able to see the locks uh, for the uh, publish as well. All right, so now if we go to the uh, hamburger menu here and go to um, skill studio, we were at the uh, automations tab now switch to skills and apps here we can see that our skills is here ready to publish click on the three dots and enhance the skills so here like, we, we can you know change the name of our skills we can uh, uh, look at the input and output and if we go to phrases here that's basically the keyword or you know the phrases that will um, trigger our skills so by default, um, here we have, you know, basically the name of the skills. We can uh, also put like a uh, license request or, you know, we can use this AI powered um, auto generate phrases. Um, but for now, I like, will just um, do like license request and publish the skill. Now the skill is published. So, so before we can use it, there's actually one more step. So again, like click on the hamburger menu and go to skill catalog. So skills catalog is basically a catalog of all the available skills that you can add to your personal like chat interface. So you see a lot of like pre-built skills like integrated with like third party system like Amazon S3, like Microsoft, um, GitHub, uh, you know, a lot of them. So if we scroll a little bit down, so we will see the skills that we just like, you know, publish, Lucas license request, um, and the ops that we add that, um, you know, and we add skills. And then basically when we go back to the chat interface, uh, you'll be able to see the skills here. So, um, yeah, just similar to what we saw earlier, um, you know, on, on the preview, on the on the test interface, uh, we can select like IMDB2, that is a request from myself, and we apply here. So what's an orchestrate in the background will um, basically trigger that workflow and assign a task um, to um the the you know uh whoever who needs to approve it and uh in our case that would be ourselves because uh, we selected like the workflow in initiator like as the uh, task recipient all right so um now what's the next obvious stretch say oh we're working on the result because it's actually waiting um for the task to be to be completed so if we go to task here if you still remember, like when we see the approval task, um, you know, that will be on the list here and set on track. And if we go to approval, so we see like Lucas like, requested 
um, the software license for IBM DB2. Okay, we can say, okay, that's good. Looks okay uh, to me. And then submit. And now the task is complete. And if we go back to what's the next orchestrate? And uh, what's the next orchestrate? Uh, it's able to know that the task is like completed. And uh, if you still like remember, like we select a software approval, comment, and request to like both all four of them, like as the output variables. Um, so that like as you know on, on, on the result here, like what's the next orchestrate will return like all four variables and show us like all the information like um, from that um, particular request. So DB2. You know it's approved and um, this is for myself and the comment from the manager will be it looks okay all right so um, that's a very simple like demo uh, of the license request application or you can say a skill like um, on what's the next orchestrate um, that you know integrated with workflow as well Thank you so much for watching. So we will um, include this session and other components in a future video. Let's please stay tuned. Thank you very much. I'm Lucas. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.